Hello everyone, this is Kyle Jackson for IUR 190G. We watched six TED Talk videos in the past lecture, and I'm going to talk about one of them uh, per video. I'll be doing four total, so the first one I want to talk about was a TED Talk by Joanna Blakely. Uh, it was called Lessons from Fashion's Free Culture. So the main point of this was that fashion has trends, and many people ask, why does fashion have trends? It's because uh, fashion has no intellectual property. It's very hard to get a patent for fashion because it is defined as too utilitarian. So that means, I mean, everyone needs clothes to cover their bodies. So um, you can't patent like, oh, this sleeve or this shoe, even though um, it might have its own very distinct features. Some things are completely recycled and borrowed from the um, borrowed from previous artists. So, um, there are certain countries like Japan or the EU that do allow for patenting, but in the EU it's too lenient, so you could copy this shirt and then switch to black and then patent that shirt, switch different colors, switch one small aspect of it, and then have your own patent. So it's too lenient that no one really uses it against each other legally. And then in Japan it's too stringent, so they're more more about how um, you have to make sure that your clothing does not infringe on anyone else's previous clothing so that's very hot very high bar to be set because you might have accidentally taken your idea from someone else and just not realized it and then they could come after you so plus in the whole wardrobe of the world ever that you have likely infringed on someone's previous design um, so that's how fashion has no tr has plenty of trends. Um, and in terms of intellectual property, this is very interesting because it means that everyone can share, everyone can contribute, and that um, it's a very open innovation type thing. There's um, a new trend for spring, fall, winter, what have you. So they're constantly um, evolving, and a lot of people want to see this kind of pool of innovation happen, um, but in my like in my opinion, I don't think this would be the greatest idea because then there would be no real incentive for the innovation companies to create their works if it's just going to be easily copied and then one minor twist and now you have a new company that can make billions off of their hard efforts, so that's my idea, thanks.